Welcome back to TXT Chat Time. I'm your girl T. And I'm your girl Tam. Is Tajay Gale the next Usain Bolt? And will he be the answer to Jamaican prayers as we struggle to find our way back to spirit dominance on the male side of things? Stay with us, guys. When we get back, we'll tell you what we think about this new development. Tajay Gale, Jamaica's reigning long jump world champion, the man that ranks in the top 10 for one of the longest jumps ever recorded, will now be taking on the 100 meter sprints seriously. Yes, Tajay Gale has sounded the alarm and put himself up for contention in the 100 meters. And I definitely hope he thrives because Jamaica's showing at the Olympics was despondent at best. So with back-to-back -back championships for the next few years, it's time to re-strategize. What do you think, T? Well, when we look at his history over the 100 meters, it indicates that his chances of success are actually pretty high. Prior to 2019, there is little to no involvement with him running the 100 meters. However, in 2019, he ran the event twice and came up with a best time of 10.42. No, 2020 happened after that, and we all know there was no progression because of all the COVID restrictions. However, when track opened back up in 2021, we saw him getting down to a best time of 10.18, only running the event four times. If he hasn't been running it seriously and got all the way down to 10.18, then what do you think will happen when he starts to run it seriously? One thing I know for sure is that his coach, Stephen Francis, does not speak lightly. He said Elaine was in the best shape of her life, and we all know how bright she shone this season. It's obvious that he sees potential in Tajay and has probably been working behind the scenes with him to improve his technique, which hopefully will lead to him producing some world-class times in the 100. I say that he needs to go sub-10 early next season to be considered as a contender come Eugene 2022. Steven definitely doesn't speak lightly, and I'm actually surprised that Tajay didn't take on the 100 meters earlier because we've heard Steven say that he would have Tajay do both the long jump and the run the 100 meters for some time now. I do suspect, however, it's because Tajay wasn't strong enough to take on both events. We can use any of the top athletes from Steven's camp as a reference point to this argument. Well, former athletes, that is. Additionally, he doesn't seem to like the idea of doubling either, as this may affect the athlete's longevity. Longevity aside, when I look at some of the athletes who have made the switch or competed in both disciplines and been successful, I see great promise for Tajay. Carl Lewis is our most useful example, having seen great success tripling in the long jump and both sprints. And others, such as Karim Street Thompson, Tiana Bartoletta and Blessing Okabara have shown us that the transition is indeed possible. Is this perfect timing a stroke of master luck? Listen, Tajay has been around for a while, so he should be ready to take on both events by now. What I suspect is that Steven should still be smarting after losing quite a few of his top sprinters. He lost Shelley and Fraser Price, he lost Julian Ford, and now Elaine Thompson Hera. I believe he will be using Tajay as his weapon of mass destruction, reminding us why he is the best print coach in the world, bar none. It's time to remind Jamaicans why we started to even dream of all possibilities in the short sprints, especially when it comes to the men, because our women have always been a strong force. Yes, Tajay has decided to stand tall and take on a challenging task, and I'm personally rooting for him. I'm also hoping that the Stephen Francis does what he does best and produces yet another winner. I'm also hoping for the best when it comes to Tajay and I think he will be up to the task. Before, you know, I always thought he was meek and mild. I mean, gosh, he barely opens his mouth to speak. But he showed me during his few jumps during the Tokyo Olympics that he has what it takes to claw himself to the top and create a space for himself in the 100 meters. He is most definitely a silent killer. Them not in a bugger talking, a action them say. I was already a supporter of his, but he made me believe he is here to stay and leave his mark in the sport. And his comment, Jamaica needs me, left me shook. Yes, Tajay, us Jamaicans definitely need you. 
On that note, guys, thanks for joining us for another video. Let us know what you think. Is Tajay the answer to Jamaican prayers? Sound off in the comments below. Yes, guys, remember to sound off in the comment section below and remember to like, share, and subscribe. I'm your girl T. And I'm your girl Tam. We'll catch you in another one.